what up y'all so i figured i'd touch on a subject because i've seen it on a couple of security related channels it's security guards and uh pocket knives like i see a lot of people posting this thing like videos and stuff saying that they cannot uh have pocket knives on their person on their post and stuff like that well reality is if you can't have a pocket knife that means you're pretty much there as in the security capacity for insurance saving purposes not in a protection defensive uh, position purposes because really that's telling you you have no right to self-defense when you actually think about it all right if you can't have a pocket knife how can you have a firearm on your site, on your post, on your person? Think about that. So in other words, that's insurance security. Meaning you're on a post, you're on a site. So you can help the uh, client save money on their insurance for the property, for the facility, for the building, whatever. That's pretty much the type of security that is then when you really actually think about it because that's pretty much saying you have no right to self-defense or defense of others on that property as a security guard because you can have a lethal weapon, a firearm, but you cannot have a pocket knife. That makes no sense. And really... If it boils down to that, that's pretty much saying that anytime you draw your weapon, you're not covered. You know, the, the company is not going to back you. The client's not going to back you. Along with, uh, whatchamacallit, you just being there for insurance saving purposes on behalf of the client, a.k.a. observe and report. So, that's something to also think of, because if I'm told that I cannot have a pocket knife... Why can I have a firearm? Why can I have a baton? Why can I have OC? You know, but I can't have a pocket knife. You know, I'm allowed because I've been carrying a pocket knife working my security job for over a year. Even though, like, I went out for a little bit, came back, you know, never once anything's been said about a pocket knife. You know, so security insurance or insurance security. Now, that's another thing to look at and consider, you know, because really, if a situation popped off, you know, the company is not going to back you. Yeah, uh, the client you're working for doing observe and report security, they're not going to back you because they're telling you, instead of like straight up saying, yeah, you can't like do anything except observe and report, that's their way of telling you, you cannot defend yourself, you cannot defend others. Because you're not here for protection purposes. You're here for observing report purposes. Along with helping us uh, save money on insurance. That's what they're telling me. Trust me, I know. I worked uh, other security gigs before this job years and years ago. And when I just got back into security, I worked for a different company until I got this job. You know, so trust me, I know. But that's just something to consider because really, you can't have a pocket knife. Why should you be carrying a firearm? Think about that. Y'all have a good day.